Hello, ActorSage here on the Sage channel, and today we had a update come out, considering it's Thursday, no big surprise there, and it's a communication update, something a lot of people probably didn't really ask for, but are going to be very, very grateful for, and actually, the more I think about it, it's probably the more people did ask for this, especially on larger populated servers. What you have here is your broadcasts, which means if you type in here, you click on broadcast, top left there, and then actually type in here, I'm typing nonsense. And then, of course, press enter, and you can even use your numpad in here if you like. The message goes out, plain and simple, and everyone on the server will be able to see that as long as they're in broadcasting range of you. I believe this is, might even be a change to the normal standard typing in game. So this, let's just test it, shall we? We do a test there, and then I go back to comms. It's not showing up here, unfortunately. Nope. I have a sneaky suspicion though in the future it might be changed so when you actually just do enter and type that'll actually be using your broadcast and not just appearing to everyone on the entire server they might be limiting it so you actually have to have antenna networks to transfer messages all the way across. Now what you also do have here is direct to person so right here we have Sage Cam he's also online I can even bring up his screen and go ahead and bring into his comms if we look in here. You can see broadcast, it had that little one next to it that meant, hey, there's a message there. I can demonstrate that again, simply enough by going and going back to comms, by the way, it's just K and it's at the top right here, little thing here, and say, oh, oh got to select the one and message. There we go. So if we go back to Sage Cam's view, I go back into comms on there and you can see we have that little tiny one next to it indicating there's a message there. And of course, if I was also to Go ahead and direct message Sage Cam because, as I said, you can do that. Uh, direct message. Hello, howdy, oops, friend. With a wonderful question mark. You can see that for half a second there, there was a little tiny red pending, and that's because the message is pending being sent to somebody. But if we look at Sage Cam, so you can also see it gives you a one there. That way, you can know if you have unread messages. Thanks, see these sit here. Unfortunately, there's no timestamps on these right now. That might be added later in the future. That would be useful. Also, you can see down here at the bottom left, their ear, their ear, there is faction. So, if I was to go ahead and press K, go ahead and make ourselves a faction, quickly create one of these things. Um, well, we'll just do lots of T's and just random letters for today. And yeah, very strange. Create that faction instantaneously. Nothing shows up. If we were to switch the Sage Cam's setup, you see nothing shows up there. That's because Sage Cam, I don't believe, is in any factions. So you can't even see existing factions there. Now, of course, on Sage Cam's view, what we can do is go to factions and we can see this and we can say, huh, well, even though I can't communicate with your faction, I can try to join it. So let's go ahead and click on it. Let's click join. A join request will be sent back on my main account. Of course, we'll be going ahead and just saying, uh, accept everyone and accept. So now Sage Cam has been accepted. And we can actually go back to comms and now you can see the faction is down there. So we can go ahead and click on that and I'll type specifically into our faction chat. Now, of course, back on our main account, you can see we have our unread message right there. And there it is. Pretty damn cool that they added this. It's pretty simple and straightforward to use. Now, something I should note is if I go ahead and hop out here and let's get uh, 200 or so meters away from that antenna. So there we go, 200 meters is the broadcasting range I have as a character. Well now I'm going to go back into comms, I'm going to click on broadcasting, and I'm going to go, Hello, friends! Again, and we'll put that out there. Now we're going to go back and look at SageCam's perspective. And as you can tell, there is no little one next to broadcasting. That message didn't come through to everyone in my broadcast radius because it's too far away. Now if we go ahead and direct message SageCam itself, again, it just says pending and it sits there with pending. Of course, SageCam, if we look at its view, there's nothing here at all. That's because it we're out of range of, because we can only broadcast at 200 meters away from our actual character. So that's going to sit there and it's going to continue to say pending until we get within 200 meters of either SageCam or that antenna. Oh, and there we go. If we look at SageCam's view, it's just gone through. 
So it actually sent the second we got in range of, well, Sage Camp or the antenna, the 200 meters. So you have to be within 200 meters of an antenna for the antenna to be able to relay messages from you. So just keep that in mind. It works with that with pretty much everything, I think. Uh, let's check factions, shall we? Just to check really quickly, does the same thing apply to factions? Or is that worldwide? So once again, calm. So let's go to our faction and type in a simple message. Ah, and look, simple message one half or one of two. A bit strange that it's saying one of two. I'm not sure what that means. If we look on Sage Camp's perspective, though, you can see the message indeed did not come through. Back on the EctoSage perspective, though, our main one, we can just type out another message. And you can see one of two again. I'm not quite sure what that means. Maybe it. No, I, I really don't know what that means. I was thinking maybe it's message one of two, but there's two there now. Um, hmm. Let's just type out some random stuff. Nope. But I will this time go ahead and switch over to Sage Cam's perspective as we fly towards this. And you'll actually be able to see as soon as we come into range, all those messages. Yep, there they go. They all just appeared. Pretty damn cool stuff that I'm I'm really liking this, frankly. It's pretty damn cool. Um you don't see that often in games. It's sort of similar to how a lot of games, or in the past at least, have tried to have like audio that's only heard when you're near somebody so you can use an in-game microphone or whatever to talk to people. It's sort of like that except for it's just using the text and you're actually having to set up relays to communicate stuff. The only downside I currently can think of is just the idea that we can still do the bog standard text of just flying 200 meters away. There we go, out of range, and then type right in like that. And if we switch to second sages or sage cams perspective, you can see, sure enough, text has appeared there. Yes, yes it is. Anyway guys, that's it for this update. There, they did do two other things that should be pointed out, but I'm not actually going to be demonstrating because they're technical shizzle whistle. And it's not on the art side of things, it's on the programmable blocks and scripting side of things. You can now have, they now have script mod templates. So go ahead and look at that. That might actually be applying to me. I need to rewatch that part of the official video. Look down in the description below. I will have a link to the official video there and also a link to their official patch notes, which I'm sure they'll have even more information listed there. They also did more programming block improvements to do more magic stuff and actually have random lights come on and off and all this stuff. It's pretty damn cool. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was informative. And I do suggest you go ahead and watch at least the second half of the official update video to get that programming stuff down. Anyway, guys, thanks a bunch for watching, and I shall see you guys next time. Time to go back to poking Autodesk on their Twitter account to let them actually, well, let me use Maya. Because I bought it two days ago, and they are still yet to actually let me use it. Oh, <laughs>